Hi, I'm the number one hazard and today my tutorial is going to show you how to get the most out of your Windows XP. Now I am using Windows XP at the moment, you might realise but everything's just been customised a little bit or maybe a lot. So basically this, what this allows you to do is basically edit any settings that you wouldn't find usually in the control panel or somewhere else on your Windows XP. It's a bit like the program Tweak UI, so it basically tweaks your user interface. This is a little bit different, I'll show you what to do. So first you want to go into your start menu and you're going to click run. So this will, this will basically run a command. You can also go into command prompt, it doesn't matter, so you can go into CMD if you want, but it, it won't matter. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in regedit, that's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So once you've done that, you want to click OK. This will bring up registry editor. So just to be able to um, configure anything, uh, you want to basically use H key underscore local underscore machine. That's basically the main one. And then anything else, things like if you want to expand system, current control set, control. These are a lot of your usual ones you'd find. Um, I also wanted to show you how to actually make your computer shut down quicker. So basically you want to expand H key underscore local underscore machine. Go into system then go to control and over down here you'll see wait to kill service timeout so you want to double click on this and the value data was 20,000 I've changed mine to 200 and you'll find considerable um, shortened time when it shuts down about 5 to 10 seconds sometimes depending on how much RAM and CPU your computer and processors are using up and there's also another thing that you can do. You can actually change it so that your computer actually um, turns on faster. Okay, so what you want to do is you've got so you've got H key underscore local underscore machine. Expand that. System control. You want to go down until it says contact content index where it has a little plus sign on it. So now it's going to show you all the different um, tools you can edit, all the registry settings. So you want to go down right to the bottom. So once you're at the bottom, you want to go over here where it says startup delay. So that's startup delay with no spaces. So double click on this. And um, in decimal, it used to be 480,000. I've changed mine to 40,000. Um, you can make it lower, you can make it high, it doesn't really matter, it'll just, it'll just depend on how long it'll take your computer to load up. So that's another cool little trick that you can do by, edu uh, by um, editing the registries in your system, preferably Windows XP. So there's another thing you can do for Windows XP that you can get into this as well. If you go into run and you want to type in gpedit.msc so that's gpedit.msc. So you want to type that in on run and you want to click OK. This will bring up once it's loaded the group policy. So basically, this will change the local computer policy and the user configuration. So it will not only change the whole computers, but it can also change just your one user. So you can see it, there's a few different things you can change here. Software settings basically allows you to change any software or window settings. There's more. Um, so you can change the scripts for log on and off. So that's pretty good. You can actually add scripts for the local computer. So when someone logs on, it's going to load up a script. So that's what schools use and when you log off as well. Um, your security settings, so you can edit your key policies. Your Internet Explorer maintenance, you can also change the browser user interface. So say you wanted to change the browser's title from Internet Explorer to say the number one hazard, you can do that easily by coming here and clicking um, customize. So 
So you can look at your custom logo and animated bitmaps. So that means you're going to have to have a 22 by 22 dimension pixels for your um, icon and also you have your administrative templates. So you can change anything from control panel to your desktop, like getting rid of the recycle bin icon on, off your desktop or hiding things from your desktop or placing things on your desktop or prohibit things that are on your desktop or system or network, shared, control panel, desktop, start menu and start bar and windows components. So you can change anything from just your local to your own uh, to your very own user one. So that's another good little trick that you can use for Windows XP. So so that's basically it. You go into your run and you type in either regedit or gpedit.msc. So thank you for listening to my tutorial.